been doing is we've been working over this bait school and back and forth with skip baits. Now, as George has been monitoring it on the sounder, he's seen the bait started to work up higher. So that's a fair indication fish are pushing it up. So what we did was we pulled up on it, we had a live bait ready to go with a sinker on it, we fed it down. Now as I'm feeding the sinker bait down, Kurt is also putting down a bait jig. He's going to go into the bait, hook up the bait, bring the bait up, fish to see the baits all swimming away from their mates, and straight away they follow it up. So it's two little tricks you can use to get yourself connected like this. Well, we've been working up, Kurt's slowly working the fish up towards us. You know, the whole thing with using the boat is just work up slowly on the fish, try and read his movements and get in front of him a lot of the time, and change your drag. Like I'm up above your strike drag now, you change it as you go through the fight to suit. Don't be afraid to just sit on, you know, a lot of people go to strike and just hold it. You don't need to do that. You can change as you go. Now George, just go downhill a little bit and we'll try to get his head up. What this black's done, which they often do, he's done his jumping, he's carrying on, and he's put his head down. Because their pectoral fins are fixed, he's just a bit stubborn now. We're just planing him up. You can just see a bit of colour out there now. As we keep saying, do it all nice and slow, just short, sharp, consecutive strokes like that. See the doubles coming up. I'll turn his head as he's starting to do now. Go a little bit quicker. What we're doing is we're tagging these fish with they're called PSAT tags, which are basically satellite tags. It's just going to go under us there. Uh, Kurt's got the leader as he holds it. I drop the drag down. Now, as you can see, it's nice and easy. No one's yelling and shouting. Kurt's got it. He's just holding it there. Fish are still swimming. I've got the drag down, so in case Kurt has to drop, George is just slowly keeping the boat in gear. Now what we're going to do with this one, we're going to piece that tag him. So I'm going to bring him in. Forward and up and in. There. Yep, right in. Beautiful. So there you go. You can see the tags in there. This is a satellite tag. We'll find out where he's going and what he's doing. Hooks out, turn him upright, there we go. And I'll just let him go, you can feel him kicking. Well done boys. That's a fish, there's a fish swimming through on the right. Fish on the yeah, a fish. There's a fish over here. Because mine just spooked as well, eh? Yep. Oh, yeah. Now what Kurt's doing here, he's just work out, see how, just short, slow pumps, just keep going. Don't jerk the rod up and down, just wind him up nice and evenly. He's down the water, he's going to jump, he's going to go. So the key is, when you're doing it, is just don't panic and stuff. You know, one carry on like this, but you just keep going. In this case, it was well done. Kurt ran up the front, kept the rod, kept the angle on the fish. If all else fails, put it in free spool. Then at least there's no, less pressure on the line. So we're just waiting now. He's just sitting there in the current. Just let him come up. Some of these fish, they'll throw their stomach. It's not actually a bad thing, because fish naturally well, marlin in particular, being an apex predator, will throw their stomach so they can, when they eat something. So what'll happen is they see something that's edible, they'll come up, 
they'll they'll eat it first because they don't have hands like you and I do. You'll see there the hook's perfectly in the corner of his mouth. So what he's done is he's eaten it, eaten it first and gone, oh, that's not good. And his natural reaction is to throw the stomach, so to empty everything out, just in case it's something bad. Because unlike us, they can't go to McDonald's and choose what they want to eat. This one, we're going to piece that tag him. So I'm going to bring him in. Forward and up and in. There. Yep, right in. Beautiful. So there you go. And I'll just let him go. You feel him kicking. Well done, boys. What we're doing is we're just working back down the line. We left the gear out for a little while because never be too quick with pulling your gear in. There's always a chance of second fish. So what I'm doing is I'm just working down. Now the speed you go down on the fish is the speed the angler can handle winding. George is pretty quick on it, so we're doing a few revs on this one. Changing direction, left hand down. What we're doing is the angler, the skipper and the deckhand all have to talk the whole way through. So the angler's got to tell you what's going on. The deckhand should be hit. The deckhand should be helping out as well. Losing line to your right. Coming up. To your right. Keep coming around. He's going to go nuts here, I think. Here he goes. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to go nuts <laughs> Best part of the fight is when he eats it, I reckon. Yeah. That's good. Especially if you switch baiting. Right hand down, there he goes. These old men need the harnesses. <laughs> grandpa thing. Bloody grandpa is. The young ones just pull on. Yeah, he still is mine, man. He's a pig. Hang on, hang on, I've got a pump there. One of the tricks we do when we're catching a marlin is they get into a, a routine and so you've got to change it. So don't always do the same thing. And when, like this fish is down deep, is pull away from him, pull the line back, change the angle of the pressure, and chances are he'll come up. So what we've done here is we've gone around the fish, downwind of him, pulled the belly out of the line. So instead of the pressure coming from there, it's pulling forward. As soon as you do that, it might brush over their eye like the line, catch them on the nose or something. It gets them excited and will bring them up. Still losing slow. Yeah. Oh, no. Just slow up a bit. Out of gear. There we go, he's coming up now. <laughs> How long is it, Al? <laughs> right. Alrighty, so what we've done is we've just released the black marlin. He was too big for the PSAT tags that we're using, which send up the satellites. So we just brought him up and Kurt put a bit more pressure on, we snapped him off. He's got the circle hook caught on in the mouth, so he's going to be fine. So someone else might catch him later.